Only idiots believe the U.S. is protecting Australia from China. The Economist has taken a keen interest in Australia lately, which if you know anything about The Economist is something you never want to see happen to your country. Two articles published in the last few days by the notorious propaganda outlet have celebrated the fact that Australia appears to be the most likely nation to follow the United States into a hot war with China, as it enmeshes itself further and further with the U.S. war machine. In How Joe Biden is Transforming America's Asian Alliances, The Economist writes the following, quote, Meanwhile, the unbreakable defense relationship with Australia is deepening, following the AUKUS agreement struck in March amid a flurry of equipment deals and military exercises. Should war break out with China, the Aussies seem the most willing to fight at America's side. Australian land, sea, and air bases are expanding to receive more American forces. Under the AUKUS deal, Australia is gaining its own long-range weapons, such as nuclear-powered but not nuclear-armed submarines, to be developed jointly with America and Britain. The three partners want to work on other military technologies, from hypersonic missiles to underwater drones. Taken together, the lattice work of security agreements shows how America's long-heralded pivot to Asia is accelerating, end quote. In Australia is Becoming America's Military Launchpad into Asia, The Economist elaborates upon this war partnership with tumescent enthusiasm, calling it a mateship and likening it to a marriage, and calling for a rollback of U.S. restrictions on sharing military technology with Australia. If America ever goes to war with China, American officials say the Aussies will be the likeliest allies to be fighting with them, The Economist gushes, adding, Australia's geographical advantage is that it lies in what strategists call a Goldilocks zone, well-placed to help America project its power into Asia, but beyond the range of most of China's weapons. It is also large, which helps America scatter its forces to avoid giving China an easy target. The Economist cites White House Asia czar Kurt Campbell reportedly saying of Australia, We have them locked in now for the next 40 years. Equally, though, Australia may have America locked in for the same duration, the economist hastens to add. <laughs> well, gosh, that's a relief. How the world sees us, tweeted former Australian Foreign Minister Bob Carr when sharing the Economist article. Historians will be absolutely baffled by what's happening in Australia right now. Normally, countries never voluntarily relinquish their sovereignty and worsen their own security position out of their own accord. They normally have to lose a war to be forced to do so, commentator Arno Bertrand added to Carr's quip. As much as it pains me to admit it, the economist is absolutely correct. The Australian government has been showing every indication that it is fully willing to charge into a hot war with its top trading partner to please its masters in Washington, both before and after the U.S. puppet regime in Canberra changed hands last year. This sycophantic war readiness was humorously mocked on Chinese state media back in 2021 by Impact Asia Capital co-founder Charles Liu, who said he didn't think the U.S. will actually fight a war with China over Taiwan, but the Australians might be stupid enough to fight it for them. U.S. is not going to fight over Taiwan, Liu said. It's not going to conduct a war over Taiwan. They may try to get Japanese to do it, but Japanese won't be so stupid to do it. The only stupid ones who might get involved are the Australians. Sorry. He had nothing to be sorry about. He was right. Australians are being very, very stupid. And not just our government. A recent Lowy Institute poll found that 8 in 10 Australians believe the nation's alliance with the United States is important for Australia's security, despite three-quarters also saying they believe the alliance makes Australia more likely to be drawn into a war in Asia. That's just plain stupid. A war with China is the absolute worst-case scenario for Australia. Anything that makes war with China more likely is making us less secure. Making bad decisions which hurt your own interests is what stupid people do. That's not to say Australians are naturally intellectually inferior. We're actually pretty clever as far as populations go. What makes us stupid, in this case, is the fact that our nation has the most concentrated media ownership in the Western world, a massive chunk of which is owned by longtime U.S. Empire asset Rupert Murdoch. 
This propaganda-conducive information environment has been distorting Australia's understanding of the world so pervasively in recent years that on more than one occasion I've had total strangers start babbling at me about the dangers of China completely out of nowhere within minutes of striking up conversation with them. This artificially manipulated information ecosystem has made Australians so pants-on-head idiotic that they think the U.S. Empire is filling their country up with war machinery because it loves them and wants to protect them from the Chinese. That's as stupid as it gets. The single biggest lie being circulated in Australia right now is that our government is militarizing against China as a defensive measure. China has literally zero history of invading and occupying countries on the other side of the planet. You know who does have a very extensive history of doing that? The United States. The military superpower that Australia's military is becoming increasingly intertwined with. The belief that we're intertwining ourselves with the world's most aggressive, destructive, and war-horny military force as a defensive measure to protect ourselves against that military force's top rival, who hasn't dropped a bomb in decades, is transparently false, and only a complete idiot would believe it. We're not militarizing to defend ourselves against a future attack by China. We're militarizing in preparation for a future U.S.-led attack on the Chinese military. We're militarizing in preparation to involve ourselves in an unresolved civil war between Chinese people that has nothing to do with us. China has been sorting out its own affairs for millennia and has managed to do so just fine without the help of white people running around firing military explosives at them. And Taiwan is no exception. The imperial media talk non-stop about how the People's Republic of China is preparing to seize control of Taiwan using military force, without ever mentioning the fact that that's exactly what the U.S. Empire is doing. The U.S. Empire is preparing to wrest Taiwan away from China to facilitate its long-term agenda to balkanize, weaken, and subjugate its top rival. Only a complete, blithering imbecile would believe any part of this is being done defensively. It's being done to secure unipolar planetary domination for the world's most powerful and destructive government, and only an absolute moron would agree to risk their own country's security and economic interests to help facilitate it.